Hey, Matt here from Double Helix, and I am going to give you a quick in the bag video today. First of all, I'm carrying a, uh, a pound bag. I really like this bag, very tough, and of course, it's the right color. So, all right, here we go. First off, uh, approaches and putters. I've got DNA zone. No bag is complete without that. So, had that in here for quite a while. DNA Double Helix zone. And then I have uh, my putting putters, two Discmania links, hard link and a soft link. And then a throwing putter, Clash Popcorn. Uh, this I use for uh, straight to understable shots. It's a very straight disc, not much fade at all. For a little, a little more stability on a throwing putter, I use the Clash uh, Butter. So this uh, flies very, very similar, but holds its stability a little more than the popcorn. Got a couple mids here. Uh, the Clash Peach, great understable mid, and. Uh, Great glide, a lot of glide to it. Beats in real nicely, and a Discmania Origin. Uh, similar flight to the uh, to the Peach, but uh, a little more carry, a little more distance. Uh, so that uh, I like to keep an Origin in the bag. Uh, one more mid range. I carry the uh, whoops, the uh, MVP Axiom Hex uh, from the uh, Lizotto edition. Blow right there. And that's, a, that's the most stable mid-range that I carry. All right, then my personal favorite disc is the Essence. I bag four Essences from more stable to less stable. I have the uh, DNA Series uh, Essence right here, front and back stamp. That's my most stable one. Then I have this uh, Lux, or excuse me, Lumen Essence, a Glow Essence from Discmania. And uh, another DNA series essence here, Lore Dyed. Shout out to my friends over at Lore Dyes. Uh, this one is beat in well. It's uh, straight to understable. And then this guy I've had in the bag for a long time, and he's very understable. Use this one for uh, turnover shots and just uh, hyzer flips in the woods, that kind of thing. Uh, a few fairway drivers here. Um, got the Discraft Athena, straight fairway, and an Onyx, Discraft Onyx. Uh, that's a 1060 Paul Macbeth edition, and that one's a little more stable than the Athena. Has a little more glide, a little, a little more carry to it. And I got um, two stable fairways: uh, the Nate Sexton Glow Firebird and a uh, Glow FD3. Basically the same disc, uh, Innova Discmania, same mold though. So those, and then my drivers from most understable to uh, most overstable. Start with the Discraft Sting. Then I have an Infinite Discs Pharaoh. This is a very long flying disc for me and uh, it's quite understable. So I don't pull that one out in the wind. Then a Clash Discs Double Steady Wild Honey. Also very straight and somewhat understable. Do a lot of hyzer flips with that. Uh, Latitude 64 Royal Grace. I'm breaking this one in right now. Then another Infinite Discs Pharaoh. This is the um, Glow Sparkle uh, or Metal Flake Edition. So it has a little more stability than uh, my eye blend. A Clash Discs Proto Honey. So this was one of the original uh, first run honeys that they made or prototype honeys. And it has a good bit more stability than any run since then. So this was just a long flying disc that's not too understable for me. Then I have the uh, Clash Tone Salt, uh, so this unique technology with their their first uh, overmold discs. So I'm enjoying learning to uh, to throw that one. And I've got a Garrett Gerthy Infinite Discs Discs Emperor, a Destroyer, Innova Destroyer, and uh, this one is not as stable as some destroyers. My arm doesn't handle most destroyers, but this one I can throw um, when I want a, a good stable disc. And then finally, a Discmania Cloudbreaker. All right, so that's all my discs from putters to drivers, mostly understable to most stable. Try to keep them organized that way in the bag. Also have the uh, this retriever with the uh, with the suction ball head on. Love that retriever. If you don't have one of these, you got to get you one, especially if you play anywhere where there's water. And always keep a Good drying towel in the bag, and finally a rangefinder. 
So that's what I hit the course with and uh, thanks for watching and I hope this has been informative and helpful for you. Have fun out there. See ya.